good morning. So I'm here to tell you about computer vision and uh, I'll take a historical perspective, tell you how we got to where we are now and what I think the exciting problems are today and what the field is, needs to focus on going forward. So to get us all in the mood, I want you to look at this picture and just, just perceive it. What do you see in this picture? What do you think about it when you look at this picture? So what do you see here? So you see a few people, maybe they are, you see some objects, you see what they are doing, you look at this woman, you can probably figure out that she is a musician, there is a bag underneath where you can see dollar bills, so that means that she is actually playing and expecting tips, that guy, he's trying to figure out whether he is going to listen or is he going to walk away to his work or all this kind of stuff, right? That lady with the bags, she's like probably just wants to get home and she's not interested in the music, etc., etc. So all of this is what we perceive in a single image. Computer vision started as a field 50 years ago with the objective of capturing all of that. Okay. And we started 50 years ago when the computing power was much, much smaller than today. We always run Moore's law forwards, but to understand what it was like in the early days of computer vision, you have to run Moore's law backwards. Right? So imagine computers which are a million times slower or a a billion times slower. That, that was the setup in which we started. Now what can we do today? We have made enormous strides. So some of these things we can more or less do now. So we can segment out these objects, so mark these people, the human being, you can replace the human with a stick figure so you know where his arms and legs are. You can identify this object, the accordion, you could match the bench with a 3D model and so on and so forth. 